Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna be making some golden tomato soup. And for that, we're gonna need some yellow tomatoes. So what I'm doing here is I'm cutting the, the little tomatoes in half, I'm squeezing out the seeds, and the little gummy part that's around the seeds. I'm doing this for two reasons. The first one is so that my tomato soup will be thicker, quicker, does that make sense? and to get rid of the seeds. I mean, I'm gonna strain it all, but you know. This also gives me a chance to go over each of my little tiny tomatoes from my garden and cut out any bad spots that might be in there. I actually did not plant any yellow tomatoes this year. These are all grown from tomatoes that fell into my garden last year and never, never got taken out and they just grew again this year. Free tomatoes! Of course, though, if you have bigger tomatoes, use bigger tomatoes. They'll be a lot quicker. Once I get all my tomatoes washed, cut, seeds out, I put them back in the pot and put down the stove. Then I turn it on about medium and I start cooking it down. Stirring every few minutes or so, just to test it, see how it looks. I was baking them in the oven, but I found that just took too long and this was just a lot quicker. Once they're all cooked down and they're all starting to mush, I take them off the burner, I use a potato masher, and I carefully just mush up the tomatoes until they're pretty much all mush. I have a large bowl and I get a fine mesh strainer. And all I'm gonna do is take a couple ladles of my tomato mash, pour it into the strainer, and then with the back of the ladle, and it is going to squeeze all the tomato soup out the bottom. I'm not putting a lot of pressure, I'm basically just pressing lightly and that's enough to make it happen. And when the tomato pulp starts sticking to the spoon, I know pretty much all the water is out of it. So I just scoop it up and put it to the side and get the next bit. For the whole pot, it just took me a few minutes to do this. Not hard, just gotta do it. And when this is all done, you have a giant bowl of homemade basic tomato soup. Now this doesn't have any salt or pepper or garlic or onion or any seasonings like that. It's just straight tomato. But it's good to have on hand if you're gonna make pastas or sauces or tomato soup. Flavored tomato soup. And all I'll do with this is I'll just put a couple scoops into a Ziploc bag and then toss it in the freezer whenever I need it. I got it. And it didn't cost anything. That's a quick little garden tip today, and you guys have a good one and keep safe. Bye!